Okay. Uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League has a new trailer, as well as, um, you know, having a runtime officially declared and some clips and all sorts of stuff. So today, we're going to analyze that shit. Um, so uh, it's it's been revealed. I, I don't know if you heard this, Sebastian, as it just happened. Uh, but the Snyder Cut is four hours and two minutes long. God uh, damn. A <laughs> long ass time. Yeah, so this trailer opens up with uh, the scene from... Batman v Superman: Dawn of a Failed Cinematic Universe, uh, where um, mm. where you know Superman is that uh, he's 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 shouting, he's yelling, he's dying. How long are you gonna are you, are you gonna let me? No, 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 just keep on <laughs> going, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Keep on going. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have that much to say. I was counting on you cutting me off before I could get this far, so I'm kind of just spinning my wheels. No, just keep um, on going, keep on going. This, this is going great. This is going great. <laughs> Okay, we got some black suit Superman as well, which, by the way, looks fantastic. She looked, she looked uh, great. I mean, I don't know about you, but like, I thought that she... costume looked great. Yeah, she looked great in that whole like <laughs> black blackish suit. You know? Yeah. You know? I hope that we get that line from the 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 old Justice League trailers that you should probably move line from from Cyborg because that was the best part of that trailer. I haven't seen it yet, but uh, oh, are you talking about like uh the, the whole like booyah thing? No, 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 he lands, and then he, he like, stops Superman from throwing that police car at the police, and then he's like, you should probably move. Remember that line? Oh, uh, all right, <laughs> all right, all <Yeah>. right. <laughs> uh, I don't, again, I don't have, I don't know, I'm just spinning my wheels here. It's been, like, a week, or, like, two weeks okay. since I've watched that trailer, so I don't even what, remember that. What was the point, of, what was the point of this? We just have this running bit about the Snyder Cut, so I figured, why not take it farther? Um, yeah, but you always did no it, like, reason. so. you always did nonchalant, like, started with WandaVision and then went off somewhere else, but now yeah. it's just full-in Snyder Cut. I know. Would, should I should I title this episode as a Snyder Cut trailer breakdown and, like, put the thumbnail of Snyder Cut stuff? <laughs> so I'll put Snyder Cut trailer breakdown and then put WandaVision stuff. See, I, I feel like that'll that'll be confusing, though. This is going to throw people off no matter what, because now we've been talking about the Snyder Cut for like a minute this, and a half. At, at this point, I'm already confused. Like, I don't even know what we're supposed to be talking about. Like, Me too. Let's talk about WandaVision. All uh, right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. We have one episode left now. We we just see saw the penultimate episode of WandaVision. Um, and I have some thoughts. Uh, it sounds like from our brief conversation off air that you also have some thoughts. Yeah. So, yeah. uh, I, I know a bit of that, but for, for the people who, uh, are not us, what are, what are your, uh, your kind of overall thoughts on, on this, on this episode? I really want, like they needed. Okay. So, right. Penultimate episode, or whatever. Uh-huh. We just, like la- just last episode, we discovered, Agatha Harkness, so mm-hmm. she was behind the whole thing, blah blah blah. I was super happy about that. Also, I totally called that she killed the dog. You did totally. I saw that and I was like, "Damn, he totally yeah. called it." Uh, that's really that was really good. Yeah, and then this entire episode was just an, a, a whole big flashback of sh- stuff we hadn't seen yet that they decided to fill us in on. Yeah, which I mean, there were some parts in there that were like I feel like were necessary, but like, get on right. with it, like we just discovered the main villain of this entire series and now there's one episode left for 30 minutes. What the hell are you going to do in those 30 minutes now? Like, I just, I don't know. So I guess we'll get into the episode like now, uh, but I, so I, I'm pretty sure that, um, that this next episode will be at least an hour, uh, because we, mm. we know from, you know, Matt Shackman, the director, he said that, uh, that, um, it, it, you know, it, the total runtime of this series is, uh, is six hours and we're like, I think, like four hours and fifteen minutes in with all the if you kind of combine all the runtime together. Here, let me see. So let I don't see. know if we're gonna have. Yeah, I got this. I got this. Yeah. I can do this. So that is three hundred minutes. So that's, uh, that's like by, what? So that's yeah. five hours exactly. Okay, so here's the thing. I so that's if that's the case, then this next episode is gonna be in about an hour. I've actually been kind of going based on I've chopped off the the credits in my. And my calculations, which is probably not the way that it's supposed to be. Uh, yeah, I just went on to Disney Plus, but... looked at the exact minutes, and it's five hours exactly yeah. with credits and everything. So, so I think they, I think we might get an hour long episode. I mean, you know, this ep- this past episode, it was like four, it was like what forty seven minutes. So they are, you know, they're they're getting a little bit longer maybe, but even still, 
There's a lot of ground left to cover. To cover, yeah. <laughs> like, and... Darcy's still stuck in the hex. Uh, what was it? Monica's right. still stuck in the hex. We've got to figure out what yep. the hell Hayward's been doing. Yep. Um, like, is, is, Vision, is Vision actually alive? Is Can yep. he come out of the hex? Like, God, it's all, there's so much. Yeah. Um, yeah. So there, there's a, there's a, a lot to cover. Um, and, uh, like it, it feels like this needs to be like at least an hour and a half in order for it to have any sort of satisfying conclusion. Um, it, there's just, there's a, there's a, there's a lot going on and so much that I feel like this was not the right time to do a diversion flashback episode. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, like the day before this episode came out, I was, you know, I was thinking to myself, I was like, all right, cool. Really excited for this next episode. Uh, I imagine we'll get some answers. I hope it's not just a straight flashback episode. I think we're going to get some of that. I hope that's like half the episode. And then we get to further through the plot for like the next half. And I, you know, I, I stayed up to, to like one o'clock to watch the, not to watch, but to, to get a look at the runtime. And uh, the title was previously on, and I was like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah so i don't know this i there's there's some stuff in here that i genuinely like and i think as a as a character study of wanda it works quite well um yeah. and then there's some really good character moments uh we might disagree on, on some of that stuff a little bit uh based on based on what we were talking about earlier but it just there's a there's stuff that i'm like you i feel like this was not the most productive use of the, the time left yeah, no, we agree on we definitely agree on that. And like, I wanted, yeah, I, I, I was fine with like, a couple flashbacks because I know, like, from the trailers, we were missing, still missing a bunch of scenes, right. realistically. And you know, you can't really always rely on trailers because they always can like just cut it out. Yeah, but I mean, Marvel in particular it has a has a history of that. <laughs> exactly. So it's just like you can't always rely on trailers, but I don't know, man. It's just yeah. So I went back and re and rewatched all the trailers. We've got like, there's like three or four shots between all of the trailers that we have not seen yet. Um, yeah, so they're they're it's... they're keeping a lot to they're they're kind of keeping a lot from us. But I just I don't know. I I'm, I I I am starting to I'm kind of fifty fifty now on whether or not they pull this off overall. Um, yeah, it's 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 just it's scary because I really like the show, and if it's kind of yeah shit ending, then it's just like damn that. Freaking sucks. Yeah. No, I know. I had a, I had a couple. Uh, I had. I, I was a little bit skeptical initially, but this, you know, it wasn't like a disappointed skepticism. I was like, no, you know, this is, you know, I, there's, this is weird, and there's not a, like, there's not a lot for me to really like look into here yet. But I, you know, I'm like, it's two episodes in. You know, well, they'll they'll give us some stuff, and you know, I'm sure I'll be fine. But now yeah. I'm like, now I'm skeptical in the sense of. There's just too much to cover now, um, <laughs> and of course, you know, I'm. This is the MCU, so of course, there's almost certainly going to be some plot threads that you know don't get resolved until other movies and stuff. But I think there's still a lot you need to cover here in order to satisfyingly conclude this as its own story, right? Because you want to, of course, you have continuing plot threads. But each installment in the MCU, I think, should also have its own kind of be its contained story, and in, in 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 a way, right? Yeah. Um, okay. So I don't know. Like, there's like four or five, or maybe six or seven character arcs that I feel like need to come to a close. You know, there's a whole lot of unanswered questions. Um, but uh, yeah. So do we want to just do a, a play by play on kind of, um, on kind of the, the the flashback scenes that we did get? <laughs> Um, Alrighty, yeah, we got what a total of like three, I think. Oh, well, four, uh, it, think inc including four or five, yeah. Agathas, if we include Agathas. Oh, oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. So actually, yeah, what did you what if what do you think about that? That's uh Agatha's backstory. Yeah. I mean, I guess that was nice to include, especially since we it was just dropped on us that it was her, and then we got nothing else on it. So you know, okay. them starting out with that flashback, you know. I thought was fine. That's usually what people do when the villain is first introduced, especially in TV shows. You yeah. learn something about them the next episode. So, you know, that one I felt fine with. Um, I guess Agatha's she... mom, by the way, when, when she's dead and she's like a dead husk of a body, yeah. that she looks just, she looks very similar. That's, that's like how Agatha looks in the comics, pretty much. Like this really just on death's door, 
super old witch. Um, oh, really? Interesting. So that was okay. kind of, I don't know if that was intentional, but that that was, I don't know, I kind of noticed that. Interesting. I felt that one was necessary, at least. That's for yeah. sure. Yeah. And, you know, I, uh, I, um... I, I had kind of a, a peripheral kind of knowledge of, of, of her origin. I hadn't, I don't think I've read the arc that kind of lifts that her origin is directly uh, talked about, but you know, I've read, I've read issues with, with her in them. It's interesting that they seem to play her as more of a villain here. Cause we, she hasn't really been a villain in the comics. She was like the fantastic fours the like their kids babysitter um, for a while. Yeah, so I don't know. It's, it's an interesting turn. Captain Han is great, though. I have no complaints about her. She's fantastic in this and in everything. And yeah, she's she's fantastic. Oh yeah, I I agree. I agree. I agree. Okay, so then we we move on to uh to the the Stark bombing of Sokovia, which we have heard about but we have not seen. You have never seen. Now. Yep. Yep. I, I think this was pretty pretty solid. I think this was a a, a good inclusion. I have no real complaints about this being in here either. I I do have a question for you here, though. Yeah. Is Wanda a mutant? Like, do you think she has she's a mutant already? Yeah. Ha, has she has she always always been a mutant, and we just have not found out until now because of you know the whole Fox situation. I'll explain more in depth what I think after we finish this second scene flashback. Okay. Okay. So yeah. The reason I ask is because Wanda seems to stop the Stark bomb from detonating, um, mm. which is before, okay. Okay. which is before, because Agatha even straight up asked, like, hey, did you defuse that? And she was like, what? No. And she's like, use the probability hex. So that makes me think that, you know, I, uh, she always had powers, which is what mutants are. That's what they are in the comics, yeah. you know, that you were, yeah, yeah. who are born with powers. Um, and we can get into that a little bit more in the Mind Stone scene, because I think there's also some kind of hints towards that there, but, uh, I think it makes sense that she has had powers before, because Star, Star Tech is very reliable, you know, that bomb should have blown up, um, <laughs> so, Realistically, yes, but the way bombs work, it wouldn't have exploded as soon as it hit the ground, though, not stood there for a second and then nothing, or, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we don't we don't know what kind of what kind of bomb it was, but also it was still blinking, right? So that makes me think it that was. it was armed and it was it was, you know, time to go off or something. Uh, yeah, but I mean, I in, in, in in Age of Ultron, Pietro said it was always armed. It was just they were just literally sitting there waiting for it to blow up. Yeah. Which. No, I don't know. Yeah. You know, I don't know. But we also, I mean, this is and this is this is again, this is one of those things where. There are there are a fair a fair amount of reveals in this episode, but a lot of them were things that a lot of people kind of mostly already knew, and this is one of them, which is we know why things are sitcoms now, and uh, yep. Yep. because she watched them when she was experiencing lots of rough patches in her life, uh, which you know I mean it makes sense. That's what most people thought. Uh, it's I, I would not say it's mind blowing, but it, yeah, I, I guess it fits. Yeah, it fits, it fits. You know, traumatic uh, experience, any... she makes one herself, so she's yeah. part of the sitcom, not traumatic enough, or whatever. Yeah, do you have any other thoughts on, on this scene here? No. no. Okay. Uh, Mindstone. Um, this is another one where I'm like, yeah, that's, you know, that's that's good to see. So here's the other thing, though. The Scarlet Witch seems to float towards Wanda out of the Mind Stone. Yes, yeah. yeah. That confused the hell out of me. I have All right. no idea what they're implying. All right, so here, here's here's how my older brother explained it to me, all right? Mm-hmm. In, in Endgame, you know, the, the Sorcerer Supreme, whatever her freaking name is, whatever, uh, she ex- she explained. Oh, the ancient one. Okay. Yeah, the ancient one. The ancient one. That's the one I was looking for. She explained that there's an infinite number of realities. Whatever, whatever. The mind stone exists in every single one of those realities. So, in every single one of those realities, Wanda is the Scarlet Scarlet Witch, right? It's always okay. Wanda Maximoff. And so, the mind stone was just like showing her, like this version. of of her in a different reality see i don't know if i actually agree with that i the way i kind of have interpreted it is that it's it's is that it's kind of like the phoenix force in the sense that 
Yeah, go that's ahead. what that's what I first thought when I was like in the middle of watching, and I was like, the Phoenix that looks a lot like the Phoenix Force type thing, you know? Right. That's what I thought, like from the X Men movies. Like actually, I, it <laughs> yeah. looked a lot like the Phoenix Force, but then like you know, you see the costume like the, with the thing. Right. Like, that's Scarlet Witch, though. Right. Uh, yeah. It definitely. So that's definitely Scarlet Witch. But I'm saying in the sense of like, it's kind of like an entity that seeks out a host form and not as much like that's mm-hmm. actually Wanda because Agatha at the end of the episode, she clearly knows who the Scarlet witch is. Like this, yes. she's like, this is such a, it's a, a mythical, you know, kind of thing. And I didn't, I thought it was just a legend and I didn't know it existed. Uh, but she's like, you're the Scarlet witch Wanda. So if she knows so much about the Scarlet witch. I think she would have known that if it was, if it was a multi, if it, if it, if the Scarlet Witch is just always a multiverse version of Wanda, I think she would have known instantly. She'd be like, okay, this is the Scarlet Witch. But she only just figured it out in this episode. So that's kind of where I'm like, maybe it's a host thing. It could be a host thing, yes. But but at the same time, it is... You have to think about it with the infinite realities. It is always Wanda. Everywhere you see it, it's always Wanda. Well, yeah, I guess that's true. Because she's what? She's like a Nexus being or something, right? There was a lot yeah. of discussion about that on the internet last week. Um, yeah, exactly. I don't know. I mean, it could be like both. I that's kind of just what I what I kind of interpreted that as because uh, Agatha said you she basically said you had powers, but they would have died out if you hadn't experimented with the Mind Stone. Yep. Um, yeah, exactly. Which yeah. kind of makes me think that she had the potential, but then the Mind Stone somehow I don't know. It's very confusing. This is another thing that I'm like they need to fucking answer this because I don't know what's happening. Um, but yeah. So, but here's the other thing that also makes me think that maybe. It's the mutant gene that saved Wanda because they were, you know, Strucker, whoever was in. I don't think that was actually Strucker, but, you know, the no, scientists in there were like, like, hey, Strucker, yeah, no. yeah. Um, the scientists in there were like, hey, everybody else has died who has done this. Mm-hmm, um, yep. But Pietro also survived. So maybe he also just had a mutant gene in him, like you were right. saying. Right, right. So that's, I think. I think they're kind of going that route, which I think was would be great. There's no reason to suspect that they weren't a mutant before. You know, this isn't a red exactly. It's just an yeah. you know exploration of their of their past. So that's kind of where I'm at. I mean, they're both mutants in the comics, so I I, I don't know. But yeah, it's uh, it, it's, it's certainly a theory. What do you think about that? Are you are you on board with that? I mean, yeah, I would I could agree with that. Like, especially now that like they can actually officially say the word mutant realistically, right? You know, they always played it off as, like, oh, they got this power from, like, something alien or whatever, you know, because yeah. they could never or say... Or they really. referred to people as enhanced. Enhanced. They have an enhanced in the field. Yeah, exactly. So now the fact that they're, like, showing her backstory and saying, like, she probably always had these powers goes into the fact that, yeah, she would be a mutant in that case, you know? Not just an enhanced being like Captain America is. Right. No, I, I agree. And I hope they go that, that way of making her a mutant. I think it would work kind of better if they were like, hey, there have been mutants this whole time. We just haven't known how to identify them. And you yeah. know, they haven't really been popping up too much. So I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think that would be much better. Yeah. Uh, and then I think next up is the scene. Unless you have anything else on this on this past scene. No, I got nothing. Next up is the scene where you you have told me you think this was unnecessary uh they're in the compound and they're watching more sitcoms vision and wanda yeah yeah i really like this scene um i get what you're saying and you know and i i I kind of agree in the sense of again not a lot of time left this is you know it's a i think it's a really good moment of character development but also there's no plot pushing forward at all here um i don't know this is i if there were like three more episodes after this i wouldn't have a problem with this episode at all i don't think but because I, I think it's great that they're trying to put in character development, but also we don't have a lot of time to, to move the plot forward. Um, yeah, like even two more episodes could have like maybe done something, but it's just right. like, I don't know. I'm going to throw this segment in now since we're kind of touching on this in our in our breakdown anyway. This segment is called Question Time. Burning questions, you've got questions, and Sebastian's got answers. So right. this, is, this is a segment... <laughs> which I have not told Sebastian about, where I'm just nope. going to just start asking Sebastian questions. And he is 100% right, and uh, this is what's going to happen. So, And you can't say you don't know. You have to come up with a definitive answer. All righty. Okay. Who is fake Pietro? Who is he? 
Yeah. Who well, is he actually a version of Pietro, or is he just some random guy, or is he another person? Well, Agatha already explained that, you know, she created Pietro. It was all fake. Pietro was fake. It was just her eyes and her ears to, to get to know Wanda better. So, in reality, Pietro, fake Pietro is just nobody. It's just a fake being. But is it a situation of it's an actual version of Pietro, or it's another character who's just being kind of controlled by Agatha? If anything, it'd be another character being controlled by Agatha. But even then, I don't even know. I think Agatha just straight up create like. Well, actually, no, she can't create people because she already said like, you right. can't really do create from nothingness. And mm -hmm. he's got speed as well. Yes, that is true. But I mean, if you think about it, Agatha could probably just do some weird thing. Who knows? But um, <laughs> but she, in she that, can do a thing. Yeah, who knows, Arnon? Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Know? In that case, it'd have to be she just took somebody else over and played him off as this guy having been Pietro. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, all right. You heard it here first. Um, Hell yeah. What are Agatha's motivations? See, now that's a bit tricky because we – it's hard to tell. Like, I don't really know what she wants Wanda for, right? Because she – maybe yeah. she – in the flashback, we saw her sucking up, like, the powers from all the other witches, right? Mm-hmm. Assuming I didn't know, I couldn't tell if it was making her look younger or just if it was just making her grow stronger. Usually, when people get shriveled up like that into like just a random old age, right? It's usually people taking the youngness, but at the same time, it could just be her taking like their powers, just making herself stronger, right? Yeah, it was one of the two. Either way, it doesn't matter in the, in this. But um, I don't know if she wants to do that with Wanda. Or what exactly she's trying to do. It's kind of hard to tell right now. Yeah. Well, also, right. the twins seem to be involved in her plan as well somehow. Um, well, I think that's just hostage stuff. Okay. That's what's kind of thrown me off. Because I think, actually, you can kind of imply a little bit throughout some of this that she's kind of just jealous of Wanda. Um, yeah, like, it, it's, it's hard. Like, it, I didn't know if it was, like... Right, because she said like she felt all this magic power, and that's why she came over to Westview in the right. first place. So, which means she wasn't there since the beginning of the hex. She right. entered it of her own will and didn't lose consciousness. So then, that would mean what would that mean? I was talking about my train of <laughs> Um, so that would mean she's just trying to figure out who Wanda is in the first place. But now that she knows who Wanda is, what exactly is she going to do with that information? Yeah, that's, that's, uh, good question. that's I mean, she kind of that's the question yeah. right now. She seemed a little bit scared actually when she kind of realized that Wanda was the Scarlet Witch. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I if I if I kind of misread that. But what's the deal with White Vision? White Vision. Yeah, from the end credit scene. There's an end credit scene. <laughs> yeah, there's an end credit scene. What the fuck? Hold on. <laughs> oh shit! That is, has there always been end credit scenes? Yeah, there. Was, I mean, it was it was last episode and this episode. There was an end credit scene. Oh my god! I didn't even see last episode. Hold on, let me watch this. Oh part. my god! <laughs> Watching. Hold on. All right, we see Hayward looking at the hex. Looks like the Tesseract cube. Hmm. Beams ready for launch. About time. You guys just hear me narrate, so I can just get rid of all the silence. Or I'll cut it all out. It doesn't. It's fine. No, no, no. Or, or I'll leave it all in. <laughs> we'll leave. We're gonna leave this all in. <laughs> okay. Okay. So they're using Wanda's drone to power. They turned. They flipped a switch. He booped nothing on a tablet. He literally hit a blank space. But okay. <laughs> and there is now a vision of white vision. It moved. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, is this the original vision? Right. Uh, I mean, it looks like his body, yeah. Okay, but now, now, no, that's what I'm saying. Does that vision have the same memories, or is it an entirely new vision that has no memories whatsoever? And hey, hey, I'm asking you. This is, this is, this is, you've got questions, Sebastian's got answers. So. I have answers for you guys out there. <laughs> Let me see. So that clearly was a new vision. Now, I'll, I'll put out a new question, because I can do that. I don't have to okay. <laughs> ask me what was the white vision. I'm saying that's the new vision. Clearly. Yeah. Bam, there's yep. my answer. 
for you guys out there. I'm gonna put However, on... my question was, what's the deal with White Vision, and not who is he? <laughs> okay, what's the deal with that Vision? How am I supposed to? <laughs> Hold on, gonna put this how am I supposed you to? You have all that? the answers, Sebastian. Oh, we literally <laughs> just saw him move his hand. What the fuck do you mean? What's the deal with the White Vision? Okay, well I'm gonna. Do you want it? Do you want to hear the common theory of the people on the internet have been circulating? I'm gonna say my answer here, and then you can tell me. Okay. Clearly, this is an evil vision. Clearly, they're going to fight for their home, right? Obviously. Uh Either it's against Agatha or it's against Hayward, which at this point, it kind of seems like it might be both of them, right? I don't know. I think Agatha might help, but but yeah, keep going. I think maybe later she will help after she realizes, like, maybe she, like, becomes Wanda's teacher like she does in, like, the comics and whatever. Yeah maybe Wanda will forgive her for, like, doing all this, like, abducting children, whatever, nothingness, you know, weirdness. Killing a dog and, yeah. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Definitely seems, like, if we assume this White Vision has all of regular Vision's powers, that is a formidable opponent, but Wanda can easily defeat. Yeah. No, that's, that's, that's probably true. Um, so... It does beg the question, mm-hmm. was that Vision's real body that they were dismantling in, like, the Vision Chop Shop? Because... It, it looked like they were just being sloppy and, you know, there was parts everywhere. And also, why would they have waited five years to do that until Wanda was right there? Maybe it just took five years to do that, to get down to that spot. Yeah. How many people did Haywood really have under his, like, control, like power after the blip? You know, after the snap, the first initial snap. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. You know, like, realistically, if anything, like, two, three people... At most, at first, we're working on that. Right. If, if any. That, that doesn't really seem too far off that he, yeah. they didn't really get that far. Yeah, but do you want to, do you want to watch the episode 7 end credit scene as well? Yeah, let me, let me, what the frick is this? <laughs> I know this. Oh, it's Monica. Holy shit. Yeah. I was just talking about how we don't know what the fuck happened to her. I mean, we still don't, because this was from last week, but... Oh! She's seen some purple of irons. Yeah. Hey, it's Pietro. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> Wait, we know we know Pietro's Agatha. Oh no, what happened to her? He's not Agatha. One is in the basement with Agatha right there at that point. No, There's, no. He's Ag- not actually her. Pietro is Agatha's eyes and ears. Yeah, I. <laughs> no, I everything know he sees, she sees. Unless when uh, Agatha's talking to. Wanda, she's kind of released some control on Pietro, and he's just, just kind of a normal dude at that point. I don't know. I don't have all the answers. <laughs> no, you should, do. No, no you, you do. Bit, you like, have all the, the answers. I think that should be the bit at the end. I don't have all the answers, so I don't know. That's always my final answer to everything. Uh, okay. Well, we've got more questions, so you better have some answers. <laughs> okay. I, ha- I still have answers. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> okay. cut out. There's gonna be a lot of editing for this episode. <laughs> yeah. Right. Fantastic. My favorite thing about about making these videos. Um, uh, okay. So, um, all right. What will happen to normal vision? Will he survive? Okay, so we clearly saw that when he first tried to escape the hex, he was clearly falling apart. Being disintegrated uh-huh. back to the hex. Now, I assume it might be because the hex was honestly still up and Wanda still... Because she clearly has to have some control over him because she literally created him. I don't know if it's like know, she has. Man. She has to have some sort of connection. That's that's the word I was looking for. Not, not connection, control. sure, okay, connection yeah. to this vision to the point where she is clearly keeping him alive, mm-hmm. as we clearly saw. I don't know if it's right. the heck, like the hex that she, that was somehow created from her, is keeping him alive, or if it's just her specifically that's keeping him alive. I mean, it comes straight out of her. Like, the hex is already up, I think, by the time she starts kind of exactly. creating him. No, yeah. The hex is up, She and then he comes out. So that's why I'm saying, like, is it is he connected to the hex, or is he connected to the her, which, you know, she can control the hex. Well, that's different than right. having to connect to the hex. Yeah. You know? So, like, if the hex is ever taken down, will Vision cease to exist? Right. That is the great question. And That's what I'm asking you. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's, I'm, I'm reiterating your question. Okay. <laughs> let me let me do my bit. <laughs> I th- I I 
my answer for for the whole general public out there is yes, he will disappear. Here's the here's the general theory from the internet is that somehow his consciousness will merge onto the the body of White Vision and then he'll still be alive or something. And that is exactly what I'm thinking is going to happen too. Oh, really? Because you just said the opposite I, thing. I, no, 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 no. I'm saying, <laughs> right, right. The vision that we know now, the one that's in the hex, will cease uh, to exist. And then the one okay, that's outside okay. of the hex, the white vision, will be the new vision with Wanda. Like, the, like somehow everything will change, you know. He'll somehow get the memories, whatever. But the vision now will cease to exist. That one inside the hex will crumble and deplete. Uh, all right. All right. Okay. So we've talked about, I think before we've talked about the, the big cameo that Paul Bettany keeps teasing. You, you, you're familiar with this? I am actually. Yeah. Is white vision, the big cameo. Oh God. I hope not. Cause let me read the quote. I've got it pulled up. Here's the quote. It's an actor I've longed to work with all my life and we have amazing scenes together and the chemistry between us is extraordinary, and there were fireworks on set. So he's talking about himself? He might be talking about himself. He might be talking about someone else. He's not the only person who's mentioned, like, big cameo stuff. But I'm asking if he's talking about himself. <laughs> well, right, we still haven't seen who the hell this uh, astronomer dude is. The one that made the freaking, I don't know. Are we sure, though? Is it that? Because I, I thought it was just that person who Monica just walked up to in the last episode. No, that was just a, a that soldier. Just a delivery person or something? I, I, that was just a soldier. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm kind of 50 50. I think Paul Bettany might have been trolling us, but I think also there might still be another person coming. I mean, that definitely seems like something he would do, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> Just to throw us off, because he, he knows how excited people are. When you mention cameos, stuff like that, he knows yeah. how... It's, they know how excited people get. So he and definitely could have been the fact that he said the chemistry was so good, that's what kind of makes me think it is actually mm -hmm. him, though, because mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he would have good chemistry with himself, wouldn't he? He would. He would have good chemistry with himself, yeah. Yeah. You know, oof. Uh, uh, what's your definitive answer, though? You have thrown me for a loop here. <laughs> But I am Ten going minutes to... ago, you didn't even know there was a white vision. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a white vision, exactly. Um, <laughs> um, I'm going to say no. Uh, all right. Uh, Next answer. question. We got, we, got, we got three left here. Holy cow, this is a long bit. What will happen to the twins? They will survive and live happily ever after. Next question. Are you sure? No, I'm not going to go. I don't have to go in depth in all of these. Next yeah. question. Yeah, well, no, here's what, cause here's what I'm thinking. I, I, cause I'm not sure because they also are probably creations of Wanda. So, like, if Vision doesn't survive, I don't think they would either. Um, not it's not, kinda, not it's necessarily. Kinda hey, she created the clothes that Monica was wearing. Did they, they came out of that, so they survived. Yeah, yeah but she, she created Vision, and he did not. He was not able to come out. So, like, it's very contradictory. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's fair enough. But Vision, uh, I think you have to think about it. Vision was way more complicated. Batman's got a Mind Stone in his head. Yeah, that's that's true. Um, that's that's. I feel like that's just way more complicated than some simple <laughs> Kevlar redistribution clothes. Like, okay. Next question: Why is Hayward attacking Westview? What are his motivations? Why the fuck would he even bother? Okay, I'm gonna reiterate this question too. Why does he think? Why did he? picture wanda as the villain earlier uh -huh, in the season. Right. and his motivations are very unclear because clearly when in this flashback this newest flashback of her we clearly saw that she did not steal wishes vision's body wishes body right. wishes body that's what i'm gonna go with wishes body <laughs> wishes body um clearly but earlier on in the season he clearly showed that she stole it for some reason where did he flip from the nice Hayward that let her see Vision's body to this now Hayward where he's like, she stole Vision's body. We need this body back. What does he want? Okay. Actually, I already, I already know the answer to this question. See, okay. I know all. That's what I've been saying. I know all. He wants Wanda to bring to life a new Vision to have a weapon. And we clearly just saw that with this damn end credit scene with the white Vision saying... All we needed was the power from the source to bring this thing online. He didn't say word for word like that, but 
Yes, right. I'm going to paraphrase here. And we clearly saw it was Wanda's energy from the, the drone that tried to kill her in the first place. Yeah. Now, he went about it a very roundabout way, sure. But in the end, all he wanted was to bring online a new super weapon for himself. Sure. Up to here, I agree with you. But he's still going to attack Westview next episode, I think. So that's more what I'm asking is why would he continue pressing the attack now that he has what he wants? Because Wanda can bring it offline. Okay. So, uh, but I think, actually, I think if you go back and look at that footage from episode five where it shows her breaking in, I'm pretty sure that actually the camera's cut out before she actually takes it. So I don't think... I think that's no, yeah. Kay were doctoring the evidence to try and make it look like it. she actually did steal it. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Like, why is he making her out to be a villain? I don't know. That's You're the one with all the answers, Sebastian, not me. I, uh, <laughs> next question. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, last question. What's that book in Agatha's basement? This is where I don't have all the answers. I don't know. Okay. Um, I, have a, I have a suggestion. You have a suggestion? Yeah. Uh, and this is not my own, I should say. Like, there's this has been circulating around on online, and I did not think so initially, but I was like, yeah, I don't know what else it would be. Uh, is that potentially it's Darkhold, which is a book from the comics about like necromancy and stuff. Um, the mm. only series I've read it in is Werewolf by Night, where it turns a dude into a werewolf, and then his son gets it. He gets the werewolf curse when he turns eighteen or something, and it's really dumb. <laughs> but uh, uh, I yeah, mean, so it could be I guess I did say that necromancy came easy to her, though. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's it's, just, it's like a book of spells and weird shit or something. Yeah, so maybe maybe it is, and that's how Agatha like just learned about all this new, like, became so good at it or whatever. Who knows? Right. It definitely could be, though. So these are all the questions that I have about, like, what is going to happen in the next... And that's not even to mention we have to finish the arts for Monica, Darcy, uh, Vision. He wasn't even in this episode. He was only in this episode's flashback. Um, in this episode. As well as Jimmy Woo and, you know, all, all sorts of people. I, I might be missing somebody as well, but uh, I think I said Monica already. Yeah. Um, but so there's just, there's a lot. Also, so I just, the, the only real thing that I think to finally talk about that I can think of is the actual creation of what, of, of Westview uh, of the Hex. What did you, th- what did you think about that? I find it weird because Juan is always saying like she didn't create it or whatever. Like she doesn't, like she's not the evil person here like whatever whatever Uh, but clearly we just saw that it was definitely (laughs) her that created the hex i think it might have been i think she might have repressed it i think that might be the the explanation there okay okay and i thought it was real morbid when we get to damn westview and it's vision vision saying this is where we're gonna live and it's just nothing and it's just like god damn that is fucking depressing (laughs) I think that was he bought a plot and they were gonna build a house together. That's how I interpreted that. They they literally were, and then he died, and it's just so sad. That's why I like it. I think it's I think it's a really great scene, and, and you know, oh, yeah. it's a really, it finally, I, it's it, it's really sad. And, finally, you know, it's what finally broke her, and made, yeah. basically that scene made the hex was the right. fact that they were gonna live happily ever after with a house, you know, like in a normal town. They were right. literally. They were literally going to create this sitcom that Wanda yeah. made in the Hex. Like, it's that's the thing. That's the well, whole thing. I don't know if they were going to do that before. You mean, like, metaphorically, not, like, actually Metaf- create this? Okay. No, not meta- <laughs> okay. like, metaphorically create this. Like, he was going to pretend to be an actual human living right. it out there. And then while he was at home, he was going to be in his just okay. regular form. You know, that's yeah, what I'm I talking thought about. I you... I thought you meant that, like, they were actually, like, Wanda was going to make the hex anyway. <laughs> no, 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 Like, metaphorically, they were still going to be okay, in a yeah. sitcom type right. situation. No, I, yeah, that scene, I think, was great. And also the, the part where uh, where she, you know, was at Vision's body, and she's like, I can't feel you anymore. Those were, I think, that's what I mean when I think this this episode works on a character level. I think it's, it's pretty solid, but. Yeah. And, I, you know, if, if it was, you know, if I take it as its own thing, I don't mind it too much. But again, as the second to last episode of this limited series, I'm like, uh, there's there's other things that I feel like we need to be doing right now. Yeah, no, yeah. Um, okay, you got anything else? No, I've got nothing. Uh, if you were to rate this, what would you give it? Let me look at these back of these episodes real quick. Honestly, I think it might be my least favorite of the season so far. Okay. 
I mean, it's not a terrible episode. Like, it's not like I yeah. just liked it to the point where I'm like, oh, I hate this episode. Like, I'd never right. watch it again. No, it's not like that. It's just like I want. I I definitely wanted something more than just flashbacks. That's yeah. that was. I, I wasn't like. It's not. I just liked this episode. I was like more disappointed with the episode. Yeah, me too. Um, you know, like I've that, seen it twice now. And, have you? Uh, yeah, and I I I've been watching most of these episodes like three or four times. Mm. I don't really feel the impulse to do that again with this episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's just it. it, it we we needed more. I feel like I, yeah. I don't know at this point. I don't know how they're gonna finish it all in just an hour. Right. I know. I agree. I if it's a, if it's like an hour and a half, I think I think we can. I think they can pull it off. But and also at the same time, right? Kevin Feige is the one who pitched this, so I should have enough trust in Feige to, you know. I mean, no, like yeah, it's not like that. I don't trust that they're gonna do it. It's just like I'm just like right. I'm scared they're not gonna be able to. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I get that. Um, I don't know. It's you know, I I'm very much now. I'm kind of skeptical because before I was like, this is getting this is getting really good. I'm really happy with where this is going, and now I feel like they've kind of been treading water for a lot of time, and now there's just so much to do in one episode. Um, yeah, yeah, that that's yeah. Yeah. Yes. And so now I I am kind of on the fence. As to, this is gonna make or this the finale is gonna make or break it at this point because I think it, it could turn out really good or it could be a complete mess after next week's episode. So yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I would probably score this like seven point five out of ten. I think that's that's probably pretty fair. That, that that's fair. I'd, I'd probably score the exact same, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Episode five is still my favorite, but um, yeah, we'll mm. we'll see where things go. So yeah. That's it on uh, on this on this recording. Uh, we will be back uh, next week for a full season review, uh, yep. or, or at the very least, we'll talk the finale and we'll give some overall season thoughts or something. Um, so I guess we'll, I guess that I'd, I'd probably that pro- that'd probably be better because we already yeah discussed a bunch of the episodes. We've done some stuff already, right? Um, and uh, then. Like two weeks after that, we've got uh, Falcon Winter Soldier starting, and uh, right the day before that, we have the much anticipated Snyder Cut, which you can Hell be damn yeah. sure we'll be talking about. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, if you like the video, you can like and subscribe and hit that bell notification if you want to be notified of when there are new videos. I think that's how it works. I don't really know. Uh, if you want to get in touch with the show, you can contact us at EarthsMightiestComicsPod at gmail.com. All one word, no apostrophe in the word Earths. Or you can just put it in the comment section down below. Either way, uh, we also have a website where we have some more stuff. That'll be linked below in the description. Yeah, thanks again, everybody, for watching. And uh, we will see you next time. Sebastian, say your new catchphrase. I don't know. I don't have all the answers. Yeah, okay. Goodbye. <laughs>